am Starla. I'm Mick. And we are Our Fat Place, Place Games. Games. Yeah. <laughs> and welcome to our preview of Let's Go to Japan. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Sponsored by AEG. Now, family, this is a Kickstarter that will be coming on March 21st. So definitely check it out. But like we say for all of our previews, don't take a word for it. Check it out yourself. But now we're going to hear from Starla with a game overview. Here we go. Hope you pack your bags. Welcome to Japan. In Let's Go to Japan, you are a traveler planning and then experiencing your own dream vacation to Japan. The game consists of 13 rounds in which players draw activity cards illustrated by Japan-based artists and strategically place them in different days along their week-long itinerary. These can't-miss tourist attractions will have you bouncing between Tokyo and Kyoto as you try to puzzle out the optimal activities to maximize your experience while balancing your resources. The game ends with the final round in which you ultimately go on your planned trip, activating each of your cards in order along the way. The player who collects the most points by the end of their trip wins. This is a very unique game. Yes, it's very unique. And just unique. the way it was created was yeah. unique. Because, you know, this is the same designer, mm -hmm. Josh Wood, who made Cat Lady. Yes. And we really yes, like we Cat do. Lady. Yes. And he was going to go on a trip mm -hmm. with his girlfriend uh, to Japan. Yeah. They planned it out, made itinerary, everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, he had notes, all the yes. things. He, he was ready to go. And then COVID hit. Yeah. And you know what, family? You know what happened mm -hmm. to COVID. You know, it knocked everybody out. It did. And he couldn't go on his trip to Japan. Mm -hmm. And he had all these notes, yep. all these plans. Mm -hmm. So what does a board game designer do? He makes a board game. Yep. So he made a board game out of his trip to Japan. And that's what we have here. Well, you know, there's a saying, in every cloud, there's a silver lining. He found so it. So even though there was a cloud <laughs> over his trip to Japan, yes. he made the silver lining or found it by making this game. Yes. And I mean, it is a game. Yeah. And you know, you basically, you know, we have a list here. You know, we have like a little timeline mm -hmm. of what you do. You pa you play a card, pass a card, mm -hmm. you take a, you know, you take two cards, mm -hmm. you know, because we're going to Tokyo and Kyoto, mm -hmm. and you, you take each one of those cards and you, you're you going to be passing and playing, and, and, yeah. and it's, it's, it's a really interesting game, how yeah. thematic it is, it how, is. you know, you got to make sure, you know, you have these fla these uh, kind of like, um, you know, time of days where it's more favorable to mm -hmm. do things, like it's more favorable on Wednesday mm -hmm. to go eat sushi, yeah. so, and you got to try to put match as much as you can yeah. under that day, but it's only three cards that can go under each day, yeah. and you have to be real strategic of how you're going to do that. Yeah, well, Sometimes you can have a fourth card depending yes. on special circumstances. Yes. But I like the way he divided things up where you have, you know, unique experiences. Yes. You have, you know, where you go out to eat, or you go visit some temples and shrines, or you go see nature. Yes. This is really unique how he did it. And he didn't forget shopping. No, he did not. Because when you take a trip, yes. you gotta go shopping. You gotta go shopping. <laughs> gotta shop. And then it's really interesting because you have this mood, mm -hmm. you know, this mood uh, area here yeah. where it's either you, you're stressful or you're happy. Mm -hmm. And then when you go shopping sometimes, it can be stressful. It's stressful. <laughs> And if you stay in like a very expensive hotel, that's stressful because yeah. you're spending money. Yeah. But when you go to like maybe a temple or something, mm -hmm. you feel good and you get po positive mm -hmm. points because your mood is better. You're happy. So it's really thematic. Yeah, I and then you. sometimes you may just want to take a walk. Yes. You may just want to take a walk. Take a walk. And then what's also interesting is that if you end your day in Tokyo mm -hmm. and then the next day you start in Kyoto, you have to take a train. And then that's really the bad because yeah. you can either, you mm -hmm. know, and when you get bonuses, mm -hmm. you can get a luxury train ride. Yes. Or if you don't, at the end of the game, you yeah. got to get the regular train. Yes. And the regular train ain't too good because you get mm -hmm. negative points on that. Exactly. You know, you get negative because you're on this crowded train <laughs> trying to get through, trying to get to Kyoto. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's just so, mm -hmm. you know, and then when you're take, taking that walk, yeah. it's very thematic. So mm -hmm. when you're taking the walk at, you know, when you're trying to, you know, finish up 
up that day yeah. and you're trying to score that day mm -hmm. for the for the day bonuses you know you turn over that take a walk yeah. and it's like you're exploring mm -hmm. and you turn over and say oh do i want to go to that place that i found on the card because uh -huh. the cards are double they're mm -hmm. double-sided right. you know and and if you turn it over and say well yeah i want to go to that temple yeah. you can you can turn over and use that card on your day yeah. but if you don't just say, I'm just going to mm -hmm. keep walking. I'm just walking, yeah. looking around. Exactly. That is really interesting. Yeah, and if you're doing your day, you know, if you decide to start your day in Tokyo mm -hmm. or and then you end up that day in Kyoto, no matter what you do, if you're not staying in the same town, yes. you got to take a train. You got to take a Back train. Back and forth. So those train tokens are really important to try to get the good train tokens. You want the luxury mm -hmm. train tokens. Yes. You don't want the regular train tokens so that you can make sure you make it to your destination. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and it was so really cool. Every card mm -hmm. tells a story. It does. I mean, it gives you mm -hmm. what the, what's going on at that location. Mm -hmm. And then the ones that don't give you a specific yeah. location, it tells you a story. Yeah. And so when you're at the end of the game, when you're going through scoring each day, mm -hmm. you're basically saying the story of yes. your trip to Japan. This it's, is what I want to do. Yeah. yeah, this is what I want to do yeah, when we go to Japan. That is so interesting. And, and, yes. and the artwork just fits the game. Yes, it does. Everything just goes yes, it together does. so well. I yes, mean, it's it does. amazing where you can, like they say, make lemonade out of lemons. He he took a lemon situation yes, and made lemonade with Let's Go to Japan. Starl, I felt like I went to Japan. I do too. I <laughs> felt like I went to Japan because I, I said, too. I'm going to go here. Yeah. No, no, I don't want to go here. You know, because sometimes you can, you know, if you if you don't want the card, you you you, uh, you take one card away. You discard mm -hmm. a card yeah. and you, you just take, you know, just take a walk. You know, yeah. just a, yeah. uh, go for a walk card. Yeah. You know, and you kind of think about it and say, well, do I want to go to this place? Do uh, you know? Do I really want to go? No, nah, I don't want to go there. And then you know, you pass a card to you because sometimes mm -hmm. you you play a card and pass a card. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I say, well, I get this card to Starla. She can go to that <laughs> temple. I don't want to go to that temple. Yeah. I want to go shopping. Yeah. You know, so it's really yeah. It, it's it's really strategic mm -hmm. too. It's really strategic. It is. Yeah, but I uh, you know it was. You know, it's a very family-friendly game. Very family-friendly. And, and the rules, you know, you can really, mm -hmm. you know, read the rules and get through it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you can catch on real quick. It's so funny. The rule book is called A Travel Guide. Yes. It's a travel guide. It's a travel <laughs> guide. It's a travel so, guide. Yeah, so, I mean, he just did a great job. I mean, the whole thing just really works well together. Yes, it does. It's something worth looking at. You know, you always love to say, you know, don't take our word don't for take it. Don't take our word for you it. You know, check it out for yourself. Check it out. I say check this one out. Check it out. Yeah. Yes. Now, it, it has a solo mode, so don't worry about that. Folks who play solo, mm -hmm. it has a really nice solo mode. And then also, there's a, a, a expansion that's gonna come with it, that's Passport. Mm -hmm. So y y the Passport expansion gives you like extra stuff mm -hmm. to start off, you know, your the game. Yeah. You know, it, it maybe you like, uh, they have like titles on it, mm -hmm. so you might get some extra uh, luxury trains, mm -hmm. or you might get other bonuses that'll help you kind of jumpstart and go on your way. Mm -hmm. So it's a real interesting, ex um, you know, expansion. Yes. So I'm excited for people to take a look yes, at it. So it now out. remember folks, the Kickstarter will start on March 21st. So definitely check it out. And like Star said, don't take a word for it. Check it out yourself. <laughs> hey, just want to say thank you to AEG for sponsoring this preview of Let's Go to Japan. Now, Starla, where can they find OFPG out here? I, I guess in, in Japan. Japan. <laughs> hey, what's up? Well, if you're looking for Our Family Plays Games, yes. you can find us on Facebook, yes. Instagram, yes. Twitter, yes. and right here on YouTube. Right here. Now, family, if you got any questions or comments, definitely let us know. We love seeing them and, and talking back to you. Mm -hmm. But family, there's one thing and one thing we always want you to know, even in Japan, we love you. Bye. Bye.